All right, guys. In the realm of alternative medicines, you might hear about the healing power of crystals. And this is kind of what they're talking about, these stones. I have tons of them. So if I don't believe in the healing powers of crystals, why do I have like 40 stones? <laughs> well, these have been given to me over the years. Uh, the first time that I collected a little baggie of stones was at a museum when I was in fifth grade and I was so excited because I brought my own money and I got a little baggie and I picked out stones. I've had those ever since. There's 15 of the original ones and I can pinpoint them because I've had them. I love those stones so much and they're just kind of dear to me. They've never really meant anything more to me other than that. I've always loved geology. I love um, rock formations and studying, you know, observing all that fun stuff when it comes to rock formations. I live in Texas, so there's tons of great rock formations. And when we traveled up to Wyoming last year, wow, incredible. Uh, definitely go check that out if you ever have the opportunity because there's a lot of dinosaur digs out there. Anyhow, that's not what we're talking about. So let's get back to this. Do crystals heal you? The short answer is no. So there's um, the the realm of using crystals as a means of energy healing. There's different, if you've heard the term chakras and stuff like that, um, that's really what that's all referring to. So I'm not gonna really get into any of that. What I specifically wanna talk about is something called a teething necklace. So have you ever seen a little baby, I'll stop rattling rocks. Have you ever seen a little baby wearing a choker type necklace and it has stones on it? Let me see if I have one that's similar. This is very similar to the type of stone that you'll see on that. What that is, is an amber necklace. And mothers often w put these on their babies as a teething necklace because it is supposed to um, help with the pain from teething. So teething is when a baby's getting its teeth in and it hurts really bad. And you'll see this little necklace kind of lined with stones that look similar to this. Um, really no need to worry. It is you know, kind of a hazard to be putting tiny little pebbles on your baby, but I've seen them before. I've even made some myself and they do have a magnetic clasp on them. So if your baby gets a little tug on it, it'll just prop right off. I think my concern with it personally is making sure that the stones are secure on that necklace because you don't want your baby breaking any of the stones off and choking on them. They are generally pretty tiny though. Anyhow, why do people believe that an amber necklace helps with teething? Well, I'll get into the details. The amber uh, can come in many colors. I'm just going to kind of show you an example. So there's these stones like this. These are kind of a lighter color. I don't have a dark amber, but the in the amber, you'll see kind of a lighter shade. Let me see if I can see like a lighter shade here. That lighter shade has something in it called sassoonic acid. And that is the chemical that is said to help with the pain. I want to predicate all of this by saying there's no evidence that this actually does help to alleviate pain from what I have um, read myself. Uh, so anyhow, like I said, that chemical is called sassoonic acid. I believe that's how you say that. And it is the white that you see in the amber. So when you find dark amber, if you are looking for a teething necklace, when you find dark amber, it doesn't have as much sassoonic acid in it. Um, Lith Lithuanian amber is one that has much more sassoonic acid in it because that's just you know where it comes from and uh, Lithu Lithu Lithuania, I'll say it right one day. <laughs> and it does have more of that sassoonic acid in it, which is white. Um, also, if you're looking to get a teething necklace, be sure that you don't have polished stones on your necklace. You want that to be raw. The reason being is the way that it works is when that um, sassoonic acid is against your skin, it gets warmed up and that sassoonic acid absorbs into the skin. And that is what is said to help alleviate the pain. So some people might have wrist pains and they'll wear a um, amber bracelet to help with the wrist pains because that I just spit, that's so gross. Because that sits right there on your wrist or because they're teething and this is so close to where their teeth are, they might wear the necklace and so on and so forth. 
So I just wanted to clarify for those of you that have seen infants wearing something called a teething necklace, why that is said to um, actually work. It's not the same thing as crystal healing by any means. Um, crystal healing is believing the uh, stones themselves possess a energy that correlates to your body's energy. You can look into chakras and crystal healing and that sort of thing. But like I said, I do not buy into crystal healing whatsoever. I just happen to have stones because I absolutely love uh, geology. I love rocks. I think that they're amazing. And I do have a really cool collection. Um, my favorite is this really wonky one. You see here. I really love this one because it's so misshapen and it fits really well into your hand. So whenever I'm trying to concentrate or something, I fidget a lot and this is something that I put in my hand and I just kind of turn around and it helps. It's kind of like the fidget cube type thing. Um, it, it's just my little fidget stone. So that's why I really love this one. And it's always been my favorite. I do have another one that has a little notch in it. This one here has a little notch in it. I don't know if you can see that little notch right there, but I like to take it and put my fingernail in it and just kind of mess with this stone as well. It's uh, almost cubic, so it's really weird. Anyhow, um, let me know what you guys think um, and what your experience has been with using teething necklaces or using amber. Um, if you have any types of articles that you'd like to link, if they are, you know, backed by something, then I will definitely pen your comments and that way we can kind of share some education and information about how teething necklaces work and the ideas behind why sassoonic acid um, helps with that. And just a side note, that is considered to be safe. Um, the way that it metabolizes in your body, it's not possible to overdose on sassoonic acid or something along those lines. Um, and it's, to, it's used in food, so it's safe. It's used in food as a flavoring agent. It's supposed to be kind of sour. So that's, you know, we've consumed it before. Look at this one, it's so pretty. I like that one whatever. Anyway, that's what it's all about, guys. I'll talk to you later and let me know if you have anything that you want me to talk about when it comes to alternative medicines because I love to be able to educate you guys on all this. Bye!